Imagine a time when the glow of a flickering television screen held the power to transport you to a realm of masked heroes in daring escapades. It was 1957, a year where innocence and adventure converged in the form of a dashing figure who left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers across the world. This was the year when we first met Zorro. As you sit back, perhaps reminiscing about your first encounter with this iconic TV series, do you recall the thrill that coursed through you in the masked swordsman, with a flash of his rapier, carved a Z into the fabric of his enemies? The swashbuckling hero, clad in black and concealed behind a mask, embodied the very essence of courage and justice. His adventures in the sun-drenched landscapes of Spanish California were a vivid tapestry of sword fights, hidden identities, and the timeless battle between good and evil. Maybe, for you, it was the unforgettable theme music that stirred something deep within, or the charming charisma of Guy Williams as he portrayed Don Diego de la Viga, the mild-mannered nobleman who doubled as the legendary Zorro. Or, perhaps, it was the way Zorro's trusty steed, Tornado, thundered through the screen, carrying our hero towards his next daring escapade. Now, as we step back in time to revisit this classic series, let's unearth some fascinating random facts about the show that made our hearts race and our imaginations soar. These tidbits will illuminate the behind-the-scenes magic that brought Zorro to life and you might just discover something new about this beloved series. So, buckle your swashbuckling belts and prepare to embark on a journey through the secrets and stories of Zorro. Zorro, 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 Zorro. Zorro, the 1957 TV series, emerged as a swashbuckling sensation that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Inspired by Johnston McCulley's 1919 character, this show brought the masked hero of old California to life. The titular character, Zorro, portrayed by Guy Williams, was a dashing swordsman and cunning outlaw, fighting for justice against corrupt officials. His iconic dual identity as the mild-mannered Don Diego de la Viga added depth to the narrative. Zorro's trusty steed, Tornado, and his loyal friend, Bernardo, who masqueraded as his mute servant, further enriched the ensemble. What set Zorro apart was its unique blend of adventure, humor, and romance, encapsulated in Zorro's iconic swordplay and signature Z-Mark. The show's bold use of black and white cinematography made Zorro's masked appearance all the more striking. Zorro's fearless pursuit of justice in a corrupt world resonated with viewers and became a symbol of rebellion against tyranny. The impact of Zorro on popular culture is profound, as it not only paved the way for future masked vigilantes, but also introduced the concept of a secret identity. Zorro's legacy endures through numerous adaptations, films, and comics, inspiring generations of heroes who follow in his footsteps, making it an enduring icon in the realm of television and storytelling. In essence, the 1957 TV series Zorro not only celebrated heroism and justice, but also left an indomitable mark on the world of entertainment crafting a legend that continues to captivate audiences even today, 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 today. Unmasking Zorro, Guy Williams' hidden connection to Spain in the annals of television history. The 1957 TV series Zorro stands as a swashbuckling classic. Behind the iconic mask was Guy Williams, whose portrayal of the masked hero left an indelible mark on audiences. But beneath the mask and behind the scenes, a fascinating story unfolds, one that involves lawsuits, ancestral origins, and the challenges of production. The lawsuit that halted the masked Avenger during the show's run, a two-year legal battle unfolded between Disney and ABC, temporarily halting production. What's intriguing is that Disney, despite the hiatus, kept Guy Williams on full salary. This decision not only showcased Disney's commitment to their leading man, but also kept the actor tethered to the role that would define his career. The courtroom drama behind the scenes mirrored the daring exploits of Zorro on screen, unveiling Guy Williams' unexpected ancestry beyond the sets and costumes. Guy Williams had a connection to Zorro that went beyond the script. His Italian origins were well known, but what's less known is that his last name, Catalano, carries a hidden link to Spain. Catalano means originating from Catalonia, Spain. Historical records reveal a significant migration of Spaniards from Catalonia to southern Italy between the 11th and 13th centuries. This suggests that Guy Williams likely had ancestors from Catalonia, Spain, tucked away in the remote branches of his family tree. It's a connection that adds an intriguing layer to the actor's portrayal of the Spanish hero. 
behind the scenes balancing budget and artistry while Disney Studios provided substantial budgets for the series. They weren't free spenders. To balance costs without compromising quality, directors often shot portions of up to four episodes simultaneously when scenes utilized common sense. While this cost-saving measure was practical, it occasionally posed challenges for the actors. Struggling to remember their characters' motivations in the midst of cross-episode shoots, they navigated the complex choreography of action sequences and character development. In the end, Zorro was not only a swashbuckling adventure on screen, but also a tale of legal battles, ancestral connections, and the creative challenges of television production. As we unmask the stories behind the series, we discover that the legacy of Zorro runs deeper than the mask itself. In the 1957 TV series Zorro, the whip wielded by the masked hero was no mere prop. It was a genuine weapon, and Guy Williams, the actor portraying Zorro, underwent rigorous training to master its use. This authenticity came at a cost, as accidents with the whip were a common occurrence on set. The crack of the whip was one of Zorro's iconic trademarks, and its inclusion in the show added a thrilling layer of realism. Guy Williams dedicated himself to becoming proficient with the weapon, spending hours honing his skills. However, even with extensive training, the whip's unpredictability led to numerous mishaps during filming. These incidents ranged from minor mishaps to more serious injuries, underscoring the risks taken to bring Zorro's adventures to life on screen. Beyond the whip, another intriguing tidbit lies within the show's opening credits. In just 50 seconds, the name Zorro is mentioned a total of 12 times. Four instances occur within the lyrics of the theme song, setting the stage for the masked Avenger's arrival, while the remaining eight resound in the final 10 seconds, emphasizing the character's enigmatic presence. Additionally, the show's attention to detail extended to Zorro's choice of transportation. In Los Angeles, California, Zorro's trusty steed was named Tornado, a fitting moniker for a horse that could match the masked hero's speed and agility. However, when the storyline shifted to the city of Monterey, Zorro rode a different horse, Phantom, reflecting the show's commitment to continuity and historical accuracy. As Zorro captivated audiences with its swashbuckling action and iconic hero, the whip, the repetition of the name, and the thoughtful inclusion of different horses all contributed to the show's enduring legacy. Despite the challenges faced in its production, Zorro remains a classic television series that continues to leave its mark on pop culture. Pop culture. Pop culture. In 1957, the iconic TV series Zorro graced American screens, leaving an indelible mark on television history. While the show itself was a swashbuckling sensation, two intriguing behind-the-scenes stories have emerged over the years. One remarkable tale involves Henry Calvin, the actor who portrayed the bumbling yet endearing Sergeant Garcia in the series. During the McCarthy era, Calvin found himself blacklisted in Hollywood due to allegations of communist sympathies. His career was on the brink of ruin until Zorro came to the rescue. His portrayal of the lovable sergeant not only won hearts but also revived his professional fortunes, demonstrating the power of second chances in the cutthroat world of showbiz. On the other side of the mask, Guy Williams, who brought the titular character Zorro to life, faced a unique challenge. To maintain the character's mystique, he had to keep his role a closely guarded secret in public. This led to some amusing incidents where Williams had to dodge recognition from fans and curious onlookers. The lengths he went to in order to preserve the enigma of Zorro added an extra layer of intrigue to the show's legacy. Notably, Zorro made history in another way as well. It became the third Disney-produced series to run concurrently in the same season, sharing the spotlight with the magical world of Disney and the Mickey Mouse Club. This trifecta of Disney programming demonstrated the company's growing influence in shaping television entertainment during the late 1950s. In the realm of classic television, Zorro remains a beacon of creativity and intrigue, both in front of and behind the camera. Henry Calvin's redemption, Guy Williams' secret identity, and Disney's triumvirate of shows all played their part in making Zorro a cherished piece of television history. In 1957, the television series Zorro captured the hearts of viewers across the nation with its swashbuckling adventures and charismatic characters. One standout element that contributed to the show's success was the Laurel and Hardy-like duo of Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon. 
Their comedic chemistry was such a hit that when production on Zorro ceased, Disney wisely decided to keep this dynamic pair in their stable. Disney cast Henry Calvin and Gene Sheldon in two subsequent projects, Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus in Babes in Toyland. This move demonstrated the studio's recognition of the duo's popularity and their potential to entertain audiences beyond the world of Zorro. Moreover, Henry Calvin, known for his portrayal of the bumbling Sergeant Garcia in Zorro, left his mark on the show in another unexpected way. He recorded a version of the iconic Zorro theme, which became a successful hit in its own right. Calvin's rendition of the theme added a whimsical twist to the show's musical identity, showcasing his versatility as an entertainer. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing for Zorro. The show often encountered censorship challenges due to its portrayal of violence, as sword fights and action sequences were central to the narrative. Disney had to work closely with censors to ensure that these elements met broadcasting standards of the time. This delicate balancing act between the show's action-packed storytelling and adhering to the era's broadcasting norms highlighted the dedication of the creators to bring Zorro's adventures to the small screen. In conclusion, Zorro from 1957 left a lasting legacy in the world of television, not only through its memorable characters and thrilling adventures, but also through the unexpected success of Henry Calvin's rendition of the Zorro theme. The Laurel and Hardy-like partnership of Calvin and Gene Sheldon added a unique comedic touch to the show, and Disney's clever decision to retain them for other projects showcased their enduring appeal. Despite the censorship challenges, Zorro managed to leave an indelible mark on television history. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the iconic 1957 TV series, Zorro, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal tapestry of memories and emotions it has woven into your life. Zorro, the masked crusader of justice, has left an indelible mark on countless hearts across the ages. Whether it was the swashbuckling action sequences, the enigmatic allure of Zorro's dual identity, or the timeless theme of standing up for what's right, there's a piece of this classic series that resonates within us all. Perhaps you recall the exhilaration of watching Zorro's lightning-fast swordplay, or the suspense of his daring escapes. Maybe you found inspiration in his unwavering commitment to justice, and the empowerment of the common people. Or it could be the memories of watching it with loved ones, bonding over the shared excitement of each episode. Whatever your connection to Zorro may be, I encourage you to share your cherished thoughts and memories. Let your words be the tribute that keeps the flame of this legendary series burning brightly for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey and for sharing your passion for Zorro. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Warmest regards, regards, regards.